Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click, and in this video, I will give you a brief overview of our latest feature in ClickSense SaaS, Collaborative Notes. Collaborative Notes allows users to add narratives and context to their analytics by creating discussions with others actively around data. Notes can contain snapshots from their analytics and text commentary to capture that human perspective. Users can tag and invite others to the discussion, creating a collaborative canvas for both real-time and offline communication. For a deeper dive on this new feature, check out our Click Help documentation and our companion videos on the Click Help YouTube channel. Let's take a look. Okay, so before I get started with a brief demo, it's important to understand when using notes, how it can be used. So some use cases can include for example, keeping track of personal insights, where an individual performs their own analysis and keeps notes of their findings in their own personal space, possibly to capture a point of interest or even remind them to follow up. Now, another would be KPI monitoring, for example, something that I'm going to show you here, where team members can collaborate, capture their insights collectively, create this discussion and involve others, and work together to produce desired outcomes. And then another one simply could be informative, where a note can guide users with explanations of the metrics and information shown, as you see here, and possibly even answer frequently asked questions. Okay, so for this brief demonstration, I'm just going to focus on the second use case, which was monitoring some KPIs and bringing in team members to collaborate with me. So in this particular visualization, as I'm analyzing it, let's say this particular category piques my interest. I notice there is a significant value in this category when compared to the others, but also a lower number of products. So we have some high valued products in this particular category, and I want to bring in another team member to take a look at this with me. So I go over to my notes section on top. I choose the space that they're a part of. Now, if I wanted to create a personal note for myself that only I see, I would choose personal. But in this case here, we're collaborating with other members who are part of the space. So we choose that space and then we create a new note and we give that note a title and then we can start putting in our note. But at the same time, I can right click on the visualization and select add snapshot to note. And what this will do is now put a point in time view of that visualization directly within that note. Now I could also put in some text or commentary. And at the same time, I could insert a tag or a mention. I can do that here, or I can just type the at symbol and then select the individual. So in this case here, I have an individual named John Doe that I want to collaborate with. And you can see he's part of the space where other members are not. In this case, John Doe can view this note, but I want John Doe to be able to provide additional insights and collaborate with me. So I'll go to the modify access and then I will select can edit for this particular note access for John Doe. Okay, so let's switch over to the user John Doe. So now I have a screen here and we can see that John Doe, who also has access to this space, has been notified and this notification can be received via the web or via email. In this case here, we can see Michael Tarallo mentioned you in a note and you have been invited to collaborate on the collection distribution significant value. Now within the space for that user, they can actually select any one of these notes or from the notification, they can click this and it'll bring them directly to that note where they can start collaborating as well. So now we can see the note and the snapshot that was entered in by Mike. And at this point, John Doe can then tag me if he wished and start entering in his additional collaboration. Now, if this was something that was captured in real time, what I'm going to do is just do a, a split screen here. You can see as I start to type, additional information in real time is being displayed on Mike's screen. So these are two separate sessions. One's logged in as John Doe. The other one is logged in as Mike Tarallo. So you can see the individuals not only can collaborate offline, 
but they can also collaborate online in real time. Okay guys, that's all I have. Check out these other great resources to learn more about Click and ClickSense. And also be sure to join me twice a month on my webinar series, Do More with Click, where this week we are covering data hybrid delivery, a Click Cloud data service. Hope to see you there. I'll see you on the next video. Take care.